Are you considering buying a home in today's market? Well, on today's video, I'm going to cover the pros and some cons when you're buying under the current market conditions. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Welcome to the Living in Utah channel. I'm Mike Gallagher. I'm a local real estate agent right here in the local area. And if you want to learn more about the state of Utah, you may consider tapping that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification and you'll receive an alert every time I release a new video. And that's every week. And honestly, we've been helping people from all over the world buy or sell real estate right here in the local area. We absolutely love it. So if I can be of any assistance, I'll put my contact information on the screen. It's also in the show description. After all, we're the go-to guys for real estate in the U state. Let's start out with pro number one. Home prices have fallen, not just in the state of Utah, but around the country there has been some price drops. They have either dropped or they have stabilized. In some areas, I've seen some significant price drops, 20, 25%. As far as the state of Utah, in Northern Utah, we're down about eight to 10% from our highs earlier in the year. In Southern Utah, the drop is a little bit more. The other good news is that the bidding wars have ended. They are over with. There's no more of this asking $50,000, $100,000 above asking price. And in some cases, that asking price was already inflated. People were doing whatever they could to get into a home. It was just crazy. We're also seeing fewer home buyers in the market. So a little bit less competition when you are submitting an offer. Con number one, interest rates are rising. And on my list of cons, this is probably the biggest con that is on the list. The biggest disadvantage over the last couple years, we saw 3% loans were very common. Some people were down around 2.75, 2.7. Even earlier this year, you could still get a 3% low. Now that particular rate, 3%, was a historically low level. We knew that it could not last forever, and the only direction for rates was probably to go in the upward direction. Will we see those rates again? Probably not. In the current market, we're seeing 7% interest rates, maybe a little above 7% on a 30-year fixed rate at the current moment. And historically, it's still in a normal range. I usually say that a normal range is about 7 to 8%. If you look back to the 1980s, interest rates were anywhere from probably 11% to 20%. My first home, which I bought in the 90s, was in the 9% range. And many people ask me, why would I buy a home with an interest rate so high? Well, I believed in the benefits of home ownership over renting. I knew that every month, 100% of my rental payment would go to the landlord. I would get nothing in return, except a place to live, of course. But on my loan, every month, a portion of my payment was going towards the principal balance. Pro number two, I'm gonna call this one the current interest rate. But Mike, you just said the interest rates were one of the biggest cons you had on the list. Yes, I did, but it's also a pro because the interest rate that we are seeing today, it may go up even higher, higher and higher. The Federal Reserve has stated that we need to raise interest rates to combat the rising inflation. I think that everyone around the country has felt the inflation. Everywhere I go, prices have gone up, but the only thing that I have not seen increase is at Costco, the hot dog and soda is still $1.50, but everywhere else I go, the grocery store, the gas station, the lumber stores, prices are way up. So the interest rate that we are seeing today could be lower than what we may be seeing next year. As we move on to con number two, a recession could be coming. Some people feel that the recession has already hit. I, for one, I'm in that particular category. I think the recession is already here. So when it hits, if the recession does hit, will you have a job? Will I have a job? Will wages go down? Some companies may hire employees at a lower pay level. So will wages go down? Will there be overtime? Some people like the overtime to help pay some of their bills. It all leads to one question. Can you make the payments? Pro number three, buying still beats renting. A home today is still better than renting a place. Around the country, 
rents have gone up almost as quickly as home prices. And I'm not seeing any decreases in the rental rates. And in many markets, buying a home today is more affordable than renting. One thing has not changed. When you rent a home, you are building the landlord's equity, not yours. And when you're done with that lease, five years, 10 years down the road, you leave with nothing. Maybe a thank you card, maybe a box of chocolates. Con number three, maintenance costs. After all, when the sink leaks, you have to repair it yourself or pay someone to come in and take care of it. And when you're talking about items like HVAC systems, the roof, they can be major repairs and they can cost some really big dollars. But when you own the home, you're on the hook to pay the bill. Then there's basic maintenance items like painting, fertilizer for the yard, lawn care. It all has to be paid for by the homeowner. Coming in, pro number four, probably one of my favorite pros on the list, stable housing costs from year to year. Have you heard someone or been in a conversation where someone has stated that their mortgage payment is half what the current rental prices are or half what the current mortgage payments are? Probably due to the fact that they purchased their property years ago and they are enjoying the benefits of a fixed rate mortgage. Let's say for instance, your home payment is $2,200 a month on a fixed rate mortgage. If it's 30 years, 15 years, 10 years, the $2,200 will be the same every single year. Now the portion of your payment that goes towards insurance and property taxes, that may change. And I would almost say that they will change. Property taxes and insurance go up uh, pretty much every year. So that portion of the payment will increase. But your principal payment on that home will stay the same. Coming in at con number four, there are some upfront costs to purchase a home. It does cost a couple dollars to get you into that new home. There may be down payment money required. You have to pay possibly for some closing costs. Home inspections. If you have a home inspector come out, there will be a fee attached to that. Need an appraisal on the property? There will be a fee attached to that also. So it does cost a few thousand dollars just to get into a home. Pro number five on my list. I'm going to call this one privacy. What happens in your home stays in your home. After all, if you own the home, there is no landlord stopping by telling you what you can do or what you cannot do or giving you a lease agreement stating there's these terms and those terms and you can't do this, you can't do that. If you want to have a party and have 16 cars outside, well, no worries. There's no landlord stopping by telling you that you cannot do that. Now, the police might stop by and say, we've got to control the party, but no landlord. The other issue that always comes up is pets. There are so many landlords out there. They've got such strict rules. You can only have this type of pet, that type of pet, no pets at all. Certain dog breeds, when you own your own home, you can have whatever pet you would like, whether it's dogs, cats, a certain breed. As long as you maintain the pets under the local laws of the city, state, or county. I've run out of some cons, but I do have pro number six, tax advantages. So mortgage interest is deductible up to a certain dollar amount. And it's possible that there are other tax advantages to owning a home, depending on what state you reside in. In some states, you can deduct items like property taxes. I recommend that you check with your accountant and they can definitely put you on the right track to what can be deducted and what cannot be deducted. And pro number seven, you get to build equity when you own a home. What is equity? It's the difference between what you can sell the property for and what you owe on the property. For instance, if you can sell the property for $500,000 and you owe $300,000, you have $200,000 of equity. Your equity grows as you pay down your mortgage. So in conclusion, that's some of my pros and cons if you are looking at purchasing property in today's market. If you have any kind of questions, by all means, reach out to me. Glad to answer anything that I can. Till the next video, take care and stay safe.